Since this treatment, we've seen a lot of changes. This has been the only thing that has actually made a difference. But every time he would do treatments, there was no question that he improved uh, tremendously. Best known for treating deep sea divers suffering from the bands, hyperbaric oxygen therapy offers many other important medical uses and is a safe, non-invasive, and effective treatment enabling the body's natural healing process. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is administered in high pressurized chambers where a patient breathes 100% oxygen while the pressure of the chamber is slowly increased above atmospheric pressure. It's coming into the back of the chamber, coming down through the sides here, actually coming out to those two white tubular areas there and it's vented out right there at the bottom. Hyperbaric Services of the Palm Beaches is the leading provider of hyperbaric oxygen therapy in South Florida and the center is the first independent freestanding facility in Palm Beach County. Located on the grounds of Delray Medical Center, Hyperbaric Services of the Palm Beaches features three top-of-the-line Seacrest oxygen chambers in a brand new state-of-the-art facility. Prior to treatment, vital signs are taken and ears are checked. Each hyperbaric session involves three phases, compression, treatment time, and decompression. Patients may experience pressure in their ears, similar to what is felt on ascent and descent in an airplane. Treatments range from 60 to 120 minutes. There's different pressure protocols set up for different types of treatments. Neurologic cases are treated for a shorter period of time and at a lower pressure. They don't need as, as deep a depth. Hyperbaric therapy has been proven effective for the treatment of a range of neurological conditions, including multiple sclerosis, stroke, autism, and cerebral palsy. It's useful for, for so many conditions that people don't recognize it. The, the doctors are really, really uh, a long time getting into it, and it needs to be advertised much more. Patients have to speak up and show how well they've benefited from, from the course. I have tried everything. Um, nutritional healing, acupuncture, all sorts of traditional therapies, um, I, physical therapy, I could go on and on. Um, and this has been the only thing that has actually made a difference in my symptoms. Michelle Snyderman was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1996. MS is a chronic, recurrent, and progressive illness associated with lesions of the nervous system and is now believed to be an inflammatory disease. During an MS flare-up, the oxygen needed to reduce the swelling cannot reach the affected areas. During HBO therapy, the blood vessels return to normal size and therefore reduce the swelling. I would say if I could choose between my medication and the hyperbaric oxygen treatments, I would definitely go with hyperbaric because it seems to keep me, um, not only does it keep me stable, but it actually increases, um, increases my energy, increases my mobility. See, look, at that's his happy sound. He's stoked to be going in. Alex was born in 1996, a normal, healthy baby. At six weeks, he developed reflux that went undiagnosed by his doctor. As a result, he suffered 45% brain damage, microencephaly, and semi-paralysis. The doctor said that he would never be able to talk, walk, or uh, recognize his parents. After beginning hyperbaric treatments two years ago, Alex has surpassed those early expectations. Alex has been able to um, run, walk, jump. He does everything. He talks back. He's a growing boy. Alex won six years without uh, seizures and uh, we still keep up with this uh, therapy. He also reads on a uh, second grade level uh, and he does math on a second grade level. So he's pretty much in par with most kids. Uh, verbally, he st we still have to work on him. Did you have fun? Yeah, you love it, huh? <laughs> a stroke is a sudden bleed or blockage to the brain which produces tissue death because the brain cells are deprived of oxygen. The goal of hyperbaric oxygen therapy is to get as much oxygen into the brain as possible. The treatment helps revive the brain tissue that was damaged. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling fine. Walter had a stroke in January of 2008. He was in a wheelchair and walked with assistance. After 20 hyperbaric treatments, he is on the road to recovery. His voice is better, more strength to mm -hmm. him, and his appetite eating good again. He walks better. He walks longer distances. See ya.
Today, 1 in 150 children are being diagnosed with autism. Autism is a developmental disorder which is characterized by difficulties in verbal and nonverbal communication, social interactions, and unusual repetitive or severely limited activities and interests. Marco was seven, and he had um, no receptive language, and he had no verbal language whatsoever, and he was just a hyper little maniac. But once he went in that chamber, he just absolutely loved the oxygen. It was very calming, and so he just made a beeline right in there every time we came. So after 50 treatments, he broke through with, um, with a little bit of language. After 140 treatments, Marco has made tremendous strides. The hyperactivity was the biggest thing that we used to see before, but now as he's gotten older, I'm seeing just more auditory processing, which is his biggest issue, um, you know, understanding the language better, um, being able to you know, speak better with some articulation. What else did you do? Puzzle. Oh, you did a puzzle? Okay. What? Computer. And the computer? Hyperbaric oxygen therapy for children with autism and neurological dysfunction can revive the idling neurons in the brain. That's one of the amazing things about this therapy that I don't know if there's anything else you could do to, re to, to get those idling neurons going. Where, you know, the hyperbaric is really very potent as far as that's concerned. The benefits of hyperbaric oxygen therapy are not limited to these neurological conditions. This groundbreaking therapy has also been proven successful in treating other disorders, ranging from wound care to sports medicine and anti-aging. For many patients facing challenging conditions with little hope, oxygen therapy and hyperbaric services of the Palm Beaches are united to breathe new life into recovery.